Hi guys, Olive here. In case you missed it, it is now fall slash autumn, pretty much everyone's favorite season. So in order to celebrate the coming of the most wonderful season of the year, I have decided to do the autumn reading tag, which was created by the amazing Amy Jane Smith. I will link her original video down in the description box below. I was not tagged by anyone, but when has that ever stopped me before? I love the questions in this tag, so let's get started. Question number one. Are there any books you plan on reading over the autumn season? I did just post my September wrap up and October TBR, so I did just talk about some of these books, but it bears repeating. I'm going to be rereading The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is one of my absolute favorite books, and this is the absolute best season to read this book in. So I'm going to be listening to this one on audiobook, hopefully while drinking some hot apple cider. And then for a more gothic read, which is also perfect for the autumn season, I will be buddy reading Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier with some wonderful booktube ladies. And then I think for Dewey's 24 hour readathon, which is happening later this month, go sign up. I'll put the link down below for you. I think I'm going to be reading the third book in the Amory Ames cozy mystery series. The book is not out yet, but I do have it on pre-order. Question number two. September brings back to school memories. What book did you most enjoy studying? And what were your favorite and least favorite school subjects? Hands down, my absolute favorite book that I studied in high school was The Great Gatsby. I fell in love with this book while we were studying it. I have reread it several times since then. It is absolutely brilliant. When it comes to my favorite and least favorite subjects in school, in high school, my least favorite was probably chemistry. I really did not like the lab element of it. I'm trying to remember what my favorite subjects were. I know I really liked geometry when I took that. I really liked ecology and I really liked social studies. And then in college, I really didn't have a least favorite subject. I had a lot more control over the classes I took. A lot of the required core courses I got to waive because I was in a special honors program. So we took seminars for those and those were kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. But my favorite courses in college were pretty much everything that wasn't required because those were courses that I chose to take. I think it's pretty obvious I was a school nerd. I mean, I took as many courses as they would let me. The maximum amount of credits every single semester. I'm the coolest, basically. On to question number three. October means Halloween. Do you enjoy scary books and films? If so, what are your favorites? No, hate it. Although I really did like the series Stranger Things. It wasn't overly scary, and I really liked it. Question number four. With November, it's time for bonfire night and firework displays. That's every night in Pittsburgh. What's the most exciting book you've read that really kept you gripped? My answer for this is The Likeness by Tana French. I do not have my copy on me right now as being lent out to a friend of mine. This is the second book in the Dublin Murder Squad series. It is my favorite of the series thus far. The sixth book just came out, so we'll see if that's a contender. It's really exciting in terms of what happens in the story, but then also psychologically, everything that's going on. I absolutely flew through this book the first time I read it. I really want to reread it sometime in the future. I love it. Question number five. What book is your favorite cozy comfort read? I'm repeating myself here, but oh well. I'm picking the Amory Ames mystery series. The first book is Murder at the Brightwell. The second book is Death Wears a Mask. The third book, as I've said, has yet to be released and thus has yet to be read by me, which I will be fixing this month. The core of these books is the troubled marriage between the main character, Amory Ames, who is a very, very sassy, aristocratic young woman, and her husband, Milo. While dealing with their often tumultuous marriage, they always seem to get themselves involved in scrapes that involve murder, and then have to try to figure out how to work together in order to help solve the murder. I really loved both of these books. This first book I read in the summer of last year, and then this second book came out in October of last year. And so I read it for the Dewey's 24 hour readathon last year. So I'll be reading the next installment and Dewey's this year, which I feel like is a nice little tradition. Highly recommend the series if you like cozy mysteries. Question number six, curled up with a good book. What is your hot drink of choice? As I think I said in my Q and A in the mornings, I tend to stick with coffee. But in the evenings, I am typically drinking tea. Oftentimes in the evenings, I will come into this room, which is a mixture of a guest room and a reading room. It has my cozy reading chair right over there. I will come in here with this pot full of tea. This is a pot that my best friend got me. It has a little cat 
here at the top, but I will brew tea in here and then fix it exactly how I like it and bring in a cute little teacup and just have a whole night's worth of tea right on my little chair side table with my book ready to settle in and do some lovely reading. If it's late in the evening, I'll typically stick with an herbal tea, so chamomile or rooibos, anything that is without caffeine. If it's earlier in the day, sometimes I will make some black tea. I make green and white teas as well. I like to have a big variety to kind of suit what I'm in the mood for on that day. And the last question is question number seven. Any plans you're looking forward to over the next few months? October is my favorite month of the year, and everyone always thinks it's because my birthday is at the end of October which that's not the only reason. October is just the best month of the year, obviously. But of course, my husband and I will probably do something for my birthday. We also got married in October, so we'll probably have a night out to celebrate our anniversary. Typically during this time of year, my husband and I will go and visit one of the many different orchards that are on the outskirts of Pittsburgh. I love apples, specifically Jonagold apples. And now during apple season, you can get the most amazing Jonagold apples that are like literally as big as your hand. We normally don't have any big plans for Halloween, but I do enjoy handing candy out. And then in November, it's of course nonfiction November. I have a lot of fun stuff planned for that. And then at the end of November, it's my favorite holiday of Thanksgiving. And I love to plan the meal. I love to cook. I love the day overall and Black Friday shopping is always very fun. So those were all the questions. This was an awesome tag to do. I'm not gonna tag anybody because I wasn't tagged, but if you wanna do it, I wanna hear your answers. Let me know if you do it so I can watch your version of it. Thank you so much to Amy Jane Smith for creating this tag and for just having a wonderful booktube channel. I hope everyone's enjoying the season thus far. I know I am. I've whipped out all of my fun fall scarves. If you'd like to chat with me, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. You can also find me on a variety of different places on social media. All of the links to my profiles I have put in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.